and welcome to Knitpunk. Uh, as you can see, we've changed locations again. Um, this is my kitchen. You are sitting, well, you're on the other side of the table in my kitchen. <laughs> Just because the light was better out here tonight. Um, so yeah, like I said, welcome to Knitpunk. I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter. Um, the pug is currently on the ground, wondering why there's no food being, you know, manna from heaven. Um, I'm not picking him up because this is the dining table. And, where was I? Right. I'm Carrie, also not a jaded knitter. I'm going to be all over the place today. Um, you can find me on Rav, Twitter, and Instagram, all under jaded knitter. And you can find podcast on RAV, iTunes, and YouTube, all under Knitpug, and also at knitpug.com, which I haven't updated recently, so I will do that. I will do that tonight, actually. Um, we are a day late because I had computer problems last night. I turned it on and it started making that noise that electronics make right before the magic blue smoke is released. So it got shut down and the battery got pulled, and yeah, turns out Turns out there was pug in the um, laptop. I just cleaned it out and it seems to be working fine. Here's hoping. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to get a new laptop. But back to the reason why you all, you know, come here. Uh, knitting and yarn and goodness and stuff. And I'm going to do this now because I need, I need a drink. Um, it did be mentioned by a couple of people about the amount of tea that's kind of being talked about. And I jokingly said I have enough China teacups um, to basically the, serve the queen and all of her ladies in waiting. Yeah. So I have decided that just because I was told not to, I've decided that I am now drinking my beverages out of itty bitty China teacups, at least on the podcast. I generally don't use them because well, that is about a quarter of what regular one glass. It barely registers on the drop scale of my daily intake. But like I said, I need a drink, so I'm gonna drink out of it. Um, knitting. Knitting, knitting, knitting. We have no finished objects. None. Well, other than the one I'm wearing, which is my Hit A Few Day. Um, because it's hot. Well, warm. It's not really hot so much as warm. Um, so first thing is these are my Squirkle socks. Uh, and they are by General Hog Buffer. It's the name of the person on RAV and that's, that's the name they give, so. Um, and as you can see, they they're squaring the circle is what it's supposed to be and you can you can see quite well how the it bends at the ankle uh, and I rather like it so these I am doing out of uh, Yangwool color uh, just because they were it's a really wide well as you can tell it's a really wide stripe repeat um, as you can probably see that you can see kind of the the bleeding of the color um, I got the bat, I got the wool on sale at the spin right outlet and pretty much everything you get there is remnant so not all of it's the best but eh, I don't care it sucks I like them um, so that's been on the needles for a while and there's actually been progress on it <laughs> And something else there has been progress on. Um, this is, let me just pull up the name. Because I actually did things like pull up names and stuff. You probably still won't see show notes, but I actually know what I'm talking about this week. Um, this is the Clio by Romney Hill on RAV. Um, it was part of her. Uh, seven small shawls, um, and this was the year two. Um, and as you can see, I'm on the border edging. This is done out of two different colors of 
Mad Tosh. Um, I think it's Tosh Light, but I'm not 100% sure. It's one of the sock weights, uh, and it's the plied sock weight, and I forget if it's Tosh Sock or Tosh Light that I'm working with. Um, it's got about 420 yards, and that will actually, oddly enough, that identifies it. Um, and I love how these turned out. I love uh, Latvian braids. There's three of them on this. But again, 500 plus stitches. I was ready to stab somebody by the time I'm done. I'm looking at it now going, that's really pretty. And I'm going to do it on something else. <laughs> because I'm insane. Um, so you will be seeing Latvian braid again because I will do it on something else. Um, and then that's the edging. This is actually not the edging that comes with the pattern. Um, it looks very similar. It's just the edging that comes with the pattern doesn't have this extra little bit here, the, um, the mesh. And I don't know, it just, I didn't like the way that the pattern edging was turning out. It wasn't turning out like it looked in the picture. And I went looking for something different. I was going to do something completely different. And then I started doing it with the mesh and it looked right. And I don't know. I'm weird. So I'm, I've got a bit of it done. I have a lot left. <laughs> um, so yeah, this will get worked on and we'll get finished eventually. Um, hopefully I can finish it before I record over the May long weekend because that is being left with my mother. Hi mom. Because that's her Mother's Day gift. Um, next thing up, now we get into the stuff you guys haven't seen yet. Um, I'll do the boring one first because, well, it's brown and it's garter stitch and there's a lot of it. <laughs> Um, it is Big Star by uh, Julia Billings. That is... And it is a massive... Um, it's a... Essentially it's a variant on a Shetland shawl. You can see the kind of the lace in this. Um, it's one of those big wrap you up shawls, which I love. Um, and I wanted one. I've wanted one for a while. Um, so I'm finally knitting myself one. It is out of um, Eco Andean Wool, uh, which is by uh, Estelle Yarns. And this stuff is actually really reasonably priced. Um, it only comes in natural colors. This is kind of the dark end of the spectrum and it goes to an almost white. It's kind of a creamy gray white, um, or at least at the store I go to. I got this at Shall We Knit in Waterloo, which is my local yarn store. Um, and this is $11 Canadian for, what is this, 200? 350 meters of DK for 11 bucks. That is a steal. Um, and it's 100% it's wool. I like it. It's soft, it's squishy. It's, well, it's not merino, so... It's not that soft, but it is definitely soft. And I felt this after it's been uh, washed and blocked and dried and handled a bit. And it, it softens up really nicely. And it's it's nice to work with. Not the tightest twist, but it's not splitty either. So works. Um, this pattern, which I did not realize when I started it, is cast on a bazillion stitches and uh, decrease, <laughs> which is why there's a lot of it and nothing happening. Um, this is on hold at the moment, so you probably won't see that again next week. You might, depends on how much I get done of everything else. Um, it's one of those, it's a good mindless knit for most of it. Uh, and the next one is, this is actually going to be a gift. Um, so I will have to make a point of recording before I mail it. <laughs> um, and since I'm mailing it Tuesday, 
of next week because today is also Tuesday. Um, yeah, so this is, um, it's Girl's Best Friend, uh, and the name is a play on Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Um, it's for the obvious reason of the diamond pattern. Uh, I'm into chart two, I think, of it. And this is by um, Rose Gill on Ravelry. And I'm going to apologize, my printer's sucking right now. So you can see the, the pattern. It's another one of those nice, generous shawls, um, which I need to have knit by Tuesday of next week. So I better get on that. Hop to it. So that is all that's on my needles, or at least active on my needles. Um, because obviously I still have a couple of sweaters and, well, yeah. There, there's other stuff there. Dude, it's tea. Hi. I'm at the table in the kitchen. He can smell food because dinner's on the stove. Um, so next up is Stash. Because uh, yeah, there's there's dribs and drabs of Stash that's going to be coming in um, because there's things that have been ordered that are finally um, coming through and there's things that have been gifted and whatnot. Um, and I'm actually going to start with the gift because um, I've had this for a while. This was uh, part of a um, uh, a swap on Selfish Knitters Forum on Ravelry. And uh, this is Fiber Nymph Dye Works and I've never actually knit with any of her stuff so I'm really looking forward to this. These are self-striping one is navy blue with a small uh, green self stripe or stripe. The other one is green with a small navy stripe. Now I actually thought this was purple um, and I still hold that it's purple but according to the colorway name it is actually navy blue. My ability to actually see blues is limited. They normally look purple to me. So I hold the, so in my head, this is purple. Most blue pens are also purple. All Bic, purple. It's not actually blue ink, it's purple ink. It is, trust me. I know, um, just go with it. Now, anyone who knows me or <laughs> has heard me talk about socks before knows that I do self stri like the stripes, the patterns, anything like that, anything that isn't um, like crazy variegated um, is within stitches of each other. Like we're talking one or two stitches where the new repeats start and all of that stuff. And I, I am neurotic about it. It's the reason why I don't own solid black socks is because they all gray differently. And after you know a month or so of washing them you can't match them because they're all varying shades of gray and it drives me up the wall uh, but these are different they're um what she calls her inversible set so they are meant to they will stripe identically in the placement of the stripes, but they will be the reverse colors. Well, the inverse. So we'll see. I am going to knit these as socks. This will be my challenge at some point this year. I'm going to knit myself a pair of socks out of this. And we will probably be able to watch Carrie slowly start ticking, especially once they're done. <laughs> But I intend to make socks and I intend to wear them. Um, so my other option would be like make two sets of mitts or something because um, they're 50 grams each. But nope, I, I'm going to attempt to make socks out of this. We'll see whether or not this works. So I'll get back to you. You'll see that again. Um, the other thing I got, and this was something I bought, um, this is turtle turtle pearl yarn 
Um, and it is, it's her striped turtle toes. Now this is, it looks just kind of crazy variegated. It isn't. This is actually um, going to stripe up and it'll have a fairly wide blue and then fall themed stripe. Um, it's called Gatineau Fall and I missed it when she died it last year. So when I saw it this year, I grabbed it. Um, and it is literally, it's the colors of the kind of um, watery gray blue sky and then the browns and the reds and the oranges and the yellows that the Gatineau Hills turn in the fall. And this was the view out of my window for years and years and years. Um, and it was the view that I saw every day uh, for more than 10 years because I went down the parkway every single day to work for years and years and years. So, and the, the parkway runs along the river with Gatineau Hills on the other side. So, a little bit of home uh, since I won't be seeing them this year. Well, I might, it depends on when the leaves turn because I'll be up in September, October, September. Um, so then the next thing is four. Uh, these I actually got a while ago. Uh, these are all from uh, from Bling Your String, uh, who is blingyourstring.com, and I love her bags. This is it's little birdies. Um, and this is one that's, uh, the pull string and they all come with stitch markers, all of them with matching stitch markers. And she lets you pick, you can either pick the, the lobster claw ones, which is what these are, um, or, um, kind of, you know, vendor's choice. Um, there's those ones, then there's the ones that come with this which is actually a zipper bag and these are just little um these the the ring markers uh and this is one of her so i basically i have kind of a, a regular i guess sock size slightly larger sock size and then sweater and or shawl size this is whales one of these might possibly um, and if one of them does, it will be, it will be this one, um, become a giveaway prize. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. But she, in all of her wisdom, did give me a giveaway prize uh, when I met up with her at Frolic in Toronto um, last weekend. Well, not this past weekend, but the one before. Um, and this actually, it still comes with the, the lobster class to put your stitch markers on and it actually comes with two small ones that would be perfect for sock size. Um, and they're just, they're just ring markers. Um, and then it's sheepies. Actually, I haven't opened this, so I don't know what's inside or not. Uh, dots. Black and white dots. Um, so this is going to be a giveaway prize. So one of you will win this and I'm going to run it for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to say three weeks. We'll run it for three weeks. Um, cause I'm in Ottawa two weeks from now, which is the Victoria day long weekend in Canada. Um, so we'll basically I'm running it until the first time I record in June. Um, this and hmm because there needs to be some kind of prompt um I want to know what um your favorite type of bag is from bling your string um so you have to link it and you've got I'll open a thread tonight you'll have got like I said until it's three weeks so until the first time First time I record in June. So once that episode, well, 
the first recording in June, the dates. Um, so, like I said, first, first recording in June is when I'll do the draw and I'll close it off kind of the night before. So probably the Sunday night. I'm not sure what day that is. So I will get back to you. And the last thing, and this is this is actually part of a gift. Um, it's these are going along with the shawl. Um, oh shoot! Oh no, there it is. Let's try and find the the invoice so I can tell you who got who I got these from because these things are so cute. Um, and she has a lot more. They're Palmer clay um, stitch markers, and they're the snag gloss ones. Um, and it's rainbow fibers on Etsy and all of these are Canadians like these are all Canadian um, and most of these are actually local to me uh, rainbow fibers is out in BC so not local at all that's a several hour plane ride it's like three days or something um, but bling your string is local um, the well, she used to be local. Um, you know, Turtle Pearl used to actually be local to me in Ottawa. She's now in New Brunswick, but they're all Canadians. These are these are pugs, um, and like I said, they're little they're ring markers. They're made out of clay and they're, they're double sided, so it's the picture on both sides. And she has a bunch of different ones, but I just thought they were so cute. And actually really good price too. So I think these were only, uh, what were they? Yeah, these were under $10 Canadian. So for you Americans, steal. So that's everything actually, amazingly enough. Like I said, there is other stuff because there's a few more things that I've ordered that haven't arrived. Um, there's a few other things that are kicking around stash wise that just, well, I haven't pulled them out yet um, that I've gotten over the last couple of months. So you guys will see. And I would say the curry's done. And the sun is pretty much set, so it's getting really dark in here. <laughs> Not sure how dark it is on your end, but it, it's a little dark. And apparently the pug wants to play. It's not like he hasn't eaten because he has. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all. I will see you all next week. And happy knitting. Happy crafting, I guess, period. And have a good week, everyone. Bye.